September, a great month to catch up on some much needed sleep if you're green day and an even better month for anyone looking to dive into some new games across several different genres. While October is shaping up to be a juggernaut of new releases that we haven't seen the likes of in several years, September is no slouch with what it has on offer. To paraphrase the late David Bowie, there's a starfield waiting in the sky. With the year more than halfway over, Microsoft is in dire need of a big win for Xbox, especially after Redfall proved to be a forgettable exclusive when it launched earlier in May. Enter Starfield, Bethesda's big space exploration adventure, which currently has a ton of momentum behind it. While the pressure is real, Bethesda looks set to create its next big franchise with a cosmic experience that could become a must-have game on Xbox Series 10, S and PC. Baldur's Gate 3 has been one of the biggest hits of the year on PC, and finally, PlayStation fans get to experience Larian Studios' RPG masterpiece. If you're looking for a strong single-player experience that combines classic Dungeons & Dragons fantasy with a choice-driven narrative, then this return to the Forgotten Realms is not to be missed. It has been rolling D20s since its full launch on PC, and if you're planning to pick the game up on PS5, Final Fantasy VII has essentially become a franchise within a franchise with a thousand stories to tell, with the latest being a mobile spin-off. Ever Crisis is a chapter-structured single-player experience that covers key elements of the Final Fantasy VII timeline, including both the original game, its spin-offs like Crisis Core, and more. Possibly the biggest draw here is that the game will explore the origins of Shinra's soldier program, an event that will see players discover more about Sephiroth before his descent into villainy. Another year, another trip to the hardwood in NBA 2K24. 2K's annual sports series has been a big commercial hit year after year, and for the 2023 edition, the studio says the basketball gameplay is more seamless, with a more fine-tuned attention to detail. As usual, you can work your way up from rookie sensation to MVP in my career mode, but if you'd prefer a more nostalgic game of hoops, you can always assemble a team of legends in one of NBA 2K24's many other available modes. The first of two major expansions for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is almost here. In the Teal Mask, players will venture beyond the borders of Paldia and into the new Kitakami area. Set in Masui Town during an annual festival, there will be Pokémon from previous generations to catch and new mythical beasts to encounter in this DLC, which will be followed by the Indigo Disc in Winter 2023. The latest game in the Party Battle series, Super Bomberman R2 features offline battles that can be played with family and friends, online battles, a single-player mode, and a new game mode called Console that joins familiar favorites like Grand Prix and Battle 64. The latest chapter in Ubisoft's The Crew series is taking a page out of Forza Horizon's book, as this racing game sequel is celebrating car culture with a festival of activities. Some of the new features in this game include a series of short thematic campaigns that offer unique car culture experiences, an ever-changing program of activities, and of course, intense driving races and various competitive live events. There will be hundreds of vehicles to collect, a Hawaiian island to explore, and plenty of post-launch support once the Crew Motorfest drifts into action. Still waiting for a Bloodborne sequel or even a PC port. While From Software is busy with other projects right now, Lies of P developer Round 8 Studio is looking to deliver a spiritual successor to that beloved Soulsborne that puts a dark twist on the tale of Pinocchio. Lies of P wears its influences on its clockwork sleeves, but a gorgeous presentation, aggressive gameplay, and an in-depth weapon crafting system give it a unique identity. Mortal Kombat With fighting games making a big return this year, Mortal Kombat 1 is throwing its razor-sharp hat into the ring and unleashing its trademark ultraviolence in a new adventure that serves as a reset of the franchise. While the story is new, characters have been reimagined, and a cameo fighter system is in play, at its core, Mortal Kombat 1 is still a gruesome spectacle of blood and guts mixed with satisfying combos and horrifying fatalities. One of the most anticipated sequels of the year, Payday 3 once again tasks you with pulling off the ultimate bank heist and escaping from the long arm of the law with your ill-gotten gains. The legendary quartet of thieves are back in action and ready to empty the pockets of New York City, 
and with a few friends by your side, it's time to prove that greed is good when you hit Wall Street. You'll need to work hard and plan smart to get away with as much loot as possible, but every victory is designed to be a rewarding experience that adds more experience and skills to your arsenal, while also increasing your personal fortune. It's a new era for soccer games, as EA is dropping out of the FIFA business and pushing forward with its own version of the beautiful game. While the FIFA affiliation is over, EA Sports FC 24 still has more than 19,000 fully licensed players, 700 teams, and 30 leagues present in its matchday lineup. From the UEFA Champions League to the Bundesliga, fans will be able to experience what EA calls its most realistic soccer game yet one that is built on several cutting-edge technologies and is designed to offer an authentic experience.